Hey guys, welcome back to Book Talk Tuesday. It's couch time with Chris and Casey. We have missed you guys, but we're back and better than ever, and we've got some new stuff hot off the presses that we want to talk to you about. Um, we're going to get right into it. The first one I want to talk about is called We Are Inevitable by Gail Foreman. She is, of course, um, best-selling author of um, things, books like If I Stay, uh, which they made, a, which there's been a movie made about that one, um, along with several other popular YA titles and some adult titles as well. I'm going to read a quote by E. Lockhart, which is, um, We Were Liars and Again and Again. No one writes about love like Gail Foreman. Lose yourself in her passionate mash note to rock music, indie bookstores, and best of all, the miracles can that can happen when you take chances on other people. How amazing is that? So, I mean, what if you thought was the end of the story was actually the beginning of the next chapter? So, this is a great story about um, Aaron Steen, and a bookstore and what he thought was the end of his end of his journey which was actually the beginning so we are inevitable check it out awesome read and i'm gonna give it to casey now i love an ode book like uh, high fidelity yes it's one of my favorite yes. books so yes i'm really big into books that profess their love for things yes okay so my two books i have two books and my books have a theme that um are opposite of yours mm -hmm. my theme is kind of uh, about grieving and loss um so the first book that i'm going to tell you about is called me moth and it's by amber mcbride um this is a novel in verse um, so fans of books about paranormal activity and oh, like a coming yes. of age story yes. is going to be this one. Um, so yeah, both of our books have very similar themes. They're, they're both about grief, coming of age, um, loves, whether they be like love for your family or, or, or a first love or romantic love. Um, so this is novel and verse and Fans that like like Lori Anderson speak mm -hmm. um, are gonna like this book. Um, also, Mahogany Brown's Chlorine Sky. Oh, yeah. It's another good um, read alike to this book. Um, so basically, um, there is a a woman in this book, and she is grieving the loss of her family, and she comes across someone that is able to help her with that grieving. Um, and so this is Moth Me by Amber McBride. Um, gorgeous cover. Beautiful gorgeous artwork. Cover. I'm yeah. a big fan of butterflies. Yes. And so I love, I love that. Also really love funky hairstyles. Mm -hmm. So really cool book. Um, my next book is called The In-Between and it is by Mark Klein. Um, millennials um, like myself will know Mark Klein he wrote the screenplay for the John Cusack movie, yes. uh, Serendipity. Yes. So that's where you may know his name from. But this book is about a young lady named Tess. She's kind of bouncing around in foster homes and doesn't believe in love or understand how someone can make that type of connection. She hasn't felt that in her life before. Um, she comes across someone that she makes that connection with and it is about their story um so this is also again about like coming of age mm -hmm. first loves grieving things of not that nature the in-between was published in june of this year so it's a new release it still has one of our little new release gold tabs on it and me moth was released in august so it has one of our new release tabs on them as well chris does a really great job every month of marking our books and letting teens know where the new releases are in her department um and so yeah october is national emotional wellness month and it's really important to take care of your mental health and recognize factors like stress and things like that so you're able to compartmentalize those things and deal with them in the appropriate way so I'm gonna let Chris and, tell you and your life. Yeah. yes I'm gonna let Chris tell you guys where the new releases are in her department yes yeah, so the new releases are right in like there are some in front of my desk directly in front of my desk when you come up to my desk if you've ever been in the 
in that in our team department please don't wait run to see us you know come in uh, <laughs> and then on the other side of my desk are um all the ones with the yellow stickers which are actually the teen treasures um, um, but the, I, I put a lot of new stuff on there as well. So the teen treasures are That's books right. that got great reviews. Maybe they're um, first time authors or they're, you know, sometimes they're um, well known authors. But um, I think McBride is a, is a new author, a, a debut. Got great, great reviews. So I want those books on there that might otherwise get missed. So. Yeah, the yellow stickers just look for the yellow sticker you know you got a good book <laughs> yeah and I love this because it's kind of easy just it stands to out yeah go and pick yeah. it out and you know it's already been vetted by yes us. yes yes so come down check out these books let us know what you think about them we also have a teen craft in October you can talk to Chris a little bit more about mm -hmm. and we'll be posting a video of that soon so we will see you later All right.